Cantor Art Center is the campus art museum at Stanford University. It is also the most comprehensive art museum for many miles around. We have a number of opportunities for students here at the museum. One of them is the opportunity to guest curate an exhibition. In the winter of my sophomore year, I created an exhibition that was about Stanford dorm rooms. And that was an amazing opportunity because I got to curate my own exhibition and do everything from wall labels to <laughs> reserving rights to rent things from Stanford. Well, first Thursdays, first Thursday of every month, we put on a party for students, by students. Um, it's always free, and we have really good food. We love free food. Free food, free admission. The entertainment, we try to involve all kinds of Stanford student groups, so spoken word is always a favorite, and they love to work with us. Um, we also have dance groups and, of course, acapella dance groups, and which is great because it combines all of the arts sort of in one little place. So if, if you're a science major or you need a break from all that, you just come here and um, surround yourself by the arts. The museum is free. It's completely free for students. It's open Wednesday through Sunday, so it's very easy. Another option for students is to take Art 99, offered every fall. That's the student guides at the Cantor Center course. I stumbled across this um, student guides class, and I read the description. It sounded really interesting. So I decided to show up on the first day and see what it was about. Um, and I just kept coming back because I loved it. I got to know the collection a lot better and also meet all the museum staff. It was nice to come to Cantor because having been from a science background, I was always kind of intimidated by paintings and intimidated by sort of classical, like typical art. So um, I really enjoyed getting a chance to um, be shown a way to look at art that wasn't totally about, you know, brush strokes. One of the great things that the Cantor Art Center offers to students is free student membership for any Stanford student. You get monthly notices by email of what's coming up, special invitations for student-related activities here. Openings, events, talks, and you even get to sign up for free classes, so it's really great. <laughs> I have the chance to actually interview real curators right here at the Cantor. The staff and the curators here were really willing to be mentors, not only in what you were doing at Cantor, but also what you were doing in your art history classes. They were very willing to read your art samples or help talk about internships, things that you wanted to do over the summer. It's not so much about spewing a bunch of facts um, about the artwork as it is about creating an environment of discussion and question and um, it's more a two-way street. The museum collection goes far beyond the museum building itself. Adjacent to the building is the Rodin Sculpture Garden, a rather world-famous compilation of works by this important French 19th century sculptor. But there's also another sculpture garden near Robley, the Papua New Guinea Sculpture Garden, hidden in the Oak Grove. And there are individual sculpture installed around campus that are all part of the museum collection. Take a few minutes, spend some time with something you're interested in, find something new, and come back another day and do it again. It's just a really sort of nice, um, friendly place because it's small enough to where you can really get to know it, but it's big enough that you feel like you're in, you know, a really like great museum. I have a whole uh, deeper love for art because of the Canadian Art Center. We hope to see you soon. We hope you will make the museum part of your Stanford experience.